Hello everyone. So today we will do a quick lab by Sabit Defenders called the PS Exec Hunt Lab. So I already did it, but let's let's do it together. So let's start by reading the scenario. So the scenario says an alert from the intrusion detection system flags suspicious lateral movement activity involving PS Exec. This indicates potential unauthorized access and movement across the network. So the SOC analyst, your task is to investigate the provided pickup file to trace the attack activities, identify the entry point, the machine target, the extent of the breach, and critical indicator that reveal the tactics and objective within the compromised environment. All right, so here we have seven questions. Let's we'll start by answering it. them. All right, so uh, of course, after you download the files and you know, here we have the password after you download the files, it will have the pickup file. And yeah, just for your understanding, for those who don't know, P, for those who don't know, P, PSExec is basically a command line tool that allows users to run programs on remote system. And so, you know, this can be used by you on at the same time. It can also be abused by attackers if they were successful in compromising you. So let's start. So number one says, question number one. Uh, says to effectively trace the attack activities within our network can you identify the IP address of the machine from which the attack initially gained access all right here so here we have the pickup files so let's let's have a look at the statistics conversations and IP four so as you can see here you know um, as you can see for this this IP is a bit suspicious because you know the number of packet the number of packet here is huge, it's 38,284. All right, so so this might be the IP address, but in order to do, double check, for those who don't know, PSE exec use the SMB protocol, you know, for for lateral movement. So if you can search for SMB two and look at the statistics, um, conversation IPv4, and so indeed you can see that the the IP or the source IP is actually 10.0.0.1.130. All right, so it's trying to access 131 and 133. So indeed, the initial compromise was uh, started by this IP address 10.0.0.130. All right, here it is 130. Question number two: To fully understand the extent of the breach, can you determine? The machine host name to which the attacker first pivoted. Okay. All right. So coming back to our packet capture. All right. SMB2. As you can see here. Okay. Here. Um, here we have 130. Negotiating protocol request. Negotiating protocol response. Session setup. Intelligent negotiate. All right. Status more processing. All right. So we can assume that. It first started to compromise this machine, this uh, this IP address of this machine, 10.0.0.133. All right, so there will be a session setup request. All right, and then it authentic authenticated using the user SSL. So um, we can follow the TCP stream. All right, and what was the question? They're asking the host name. So the host name is uh, easily we can draw from here the host name is indeed here sales pc S sorry this one sales pc is the host name of the machine that was initially compromised all right so it's mb2 just okay so the answer is indeed sales pc yeah question number three knowing the username of the account the attacker used for authentication will give us insights into the extent of the breach. So what's the username utilized by the attacker from the authentication? So here, as we have seen, the username that has been used to uh, compromise this host name or use for authentication is here. SS cells, this one. Yeah, this is the username that has been utilized. All right, we can check here. Yeah, host PC account SS cells, right? So yeah, this is the username SS cells. Indeed SS cells. 
Question number four. After figuring out how the attackers moved with with within our network, we need to know what did what uh, what they did on the target machine. What's the name of the service executable the attackers set up on the target? So, uh, as you can see, uh, the attacker has uh, inter process communication, and then he got admin access. All right, and then he created. As you can see, uh, three connect. He created, he created a request file with the psexec exe, and then he got a response. You know, successfully. So we can assume that the file that he tried to upload or tried to uh, set up is psexec. We can also double check by going to file, export objects. Oh, sorry. And then we look at the SMB. So as you can see here, file name, psexec, as you can see. So yeah, this is the answer. psexec is the, indeed the answer. Yeah, correct. Okay. Question number five. We need to know how the attacker installed the service on the compromised machine to understand the attacker's lateral movement tactics. This can help identify other affected system. Which network share use was used by PSExec to install the service on the target machine? All right. So normally to install services, you need you know some kind of uh, admin access, right? So uh, we can look at if we look at this file. If we click here at PSExec, okay, and we look down here, we can see at the three ID we have ten point zero point zero twenty three admin. This is the network share that has been used by the user admin dollar sign and it's actually here this one this is the so this is the network share that was utilized by attacker right so yeah it's admin all right and we question number six says we must identify the network share used to communicate between the two machine which network share did ps exec used for communication and of course this is like the, uh, this is uh, inter-process communication IPCs. You can check this by going to down. We have it here. We have it here already. Yes, IPC. But also to double check that, we can look for the set ID. Down, down, down. Maybe yeah, this one. S T I. Yeah, this one. S T D I N. All right. And if we look at here, the three ID. Here we can have the interprocess communication is set. So this is the uh, this is the network share that uh, was used for communication. Question number seven says: Now that we have a clearer picture of the attacker activities on the compromised machine, it's important to identify any further lateral movement. What's the host name of the second machine the attacker targeted and to and private within our network? All right, so. As we have, you know, pointed in the first part, that when you look at the conversations, we have here two IP addresses. The first one, which was the initial compromise or was, or was of this IP address, and the second one is actually this one, 131. Okay, but to double check, let's apply this as a filter and selected it to be. All right, so we can have it here, this one, 132, 131. Let's follow TCP stream to know. What's the name of the host name? So as you can see here, the host name is Marketing PC. Yeah, Marketing PC. This is the name of the second machine that was compromised or, you know, went lateral movement. So yeah, this is the name of the second machine. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this lab. It was a quick lab and, you know, informative. You'll see you in the next one.